Roy, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to another edition of the Mike Wilson Show, episode four to be exact. Um, as you know, Mike's the head coach of Shallock High School. Mike, we'll get right into it. How you feeling this week? Feeling pretty good. I mean, we got to win this past week, so it's always feel good when you win. We've had a good week of practice, and we're ready to go. All right. I was going to ask you, I know, uh, you know it's early in the season. A lot of these games, they get built up. You guys got thrown right into it. Like we're, It's like fo- football season is in full effect. Woodstown. Okay, first of all, let me rewind a minute. The, the Cumberland game. You know, you uh, you know, we're a little bit worried. And I wouldn't say worried, but you know, you had to take him seriously. But you guys dominated. How are you feeling compared to two weeks ago? Okay, before the Cedar Grove game, you had these high expectations. All right, you get knocked down a little bit, which we both agreed could really help you. It gets you to refocus and everything. Now you got another big game coming up. What's uh, what's your thoughts on Woodstown? I'm going to share some of mine in a minute, but go ahead. Well, what's down? Very well, Coach Team. They had a big win over Delsey this past week. Um, honestly, this is one of Shallock's natural rivalries. They're Woodstown and Shallock are rivals in every other sport. Um, football has been a little one-sided over the last 13 uh, meetings between Woodstown and Shallock, but it's one of our natural rivals. It's only right down Route 40. Um, so it's going to be a good game Friday night. Yeah, because I remember going into the season, you know, you always speculate. Everybody's saying, okay, Woodstown lost a lot. They're not supposed to be – what they were. What do you, uh, I mean, again, a lot of us don't know a lot about Woodstown. Uh, what could you tell us about this Woodstown team, 2024? Um, they, Belafonte still there. I mean, he was one of the leading rushing backs in South Jersey. So he returns, they return a nice group of seniors um, that were juniors last year from that state uh, sectional title team. Um, so the foundation that coach Adams put a stamp on over the last 14 years is still there. The new staff is doing a great job. And I mean, they're, they, they look like Woodstown. Exactly. I know they got a big win. Over, and this is what got my attention. They got a big win over Delsey. Okay. Take nothing from Woodstown, but you know, you hear, okay, group one school against a group three juggernaut defending, what is it? Two time sectional champion, uh, defending state champion, yes. multiple state championships. I know it's a new regime there. I know uh, Sal built nothing short of a powerhouse. Uh, I know this is a new regime, but I, it, it it's like, you can't think they're going to fall off that far. We had a team like Woodstown beats them. And I say that in a negatively because, you know, they're only a group one. Uh, for them to beat Delsey, no matter, you know, even Delsey is, you know, minus Sal Marchese right now, it's a big deal. So I, I think this game looks much more interesting than it did a few weeks ago prior to the season. I think you would agree. Well, I mean, I think this game from our, our end of things is it was always going to be interesting because. Yeah, I mean, we play Cumberland. We have that rivalry with them. But this is Shallop's rival in every sport. The kids know each other. A lot of these kids play travel baseball together. They play Little League at Elmer together. These kids know each other better than probably the Cumberland kids do. Like, I mean, like, like it's really intertwined. I mean, I'll say this. For the Cape Atlantic League guys out there, it's very much like the Mainland Ocean City rivalry. That's how well these, these kids know each other. Okay, great, and that, and that's what makes high school football. I love that. Yeah. I'm sure. And where's the game at, Mike? Is it your your house? It's or at anyone? Woodstown, which has an awesome atmosphere on a Friday night. All right, yeah, looking looking forward to that. Um, but what's tell us as I always like to say another one of my favorite terms. Tell us about the chess match of this game. What, what how do you guys pair up? What do you need to do to beat them? What do they need to do to beat you? What tell us about the actual? Well, I mean, one thing is, I think it's going to come down to the team that needs makes the least amount of mistakes, penalties, turnovers. Um, who executes the best, who blocks and tackles the best. I mean, from us on a stop point, Belafonte, man, everything runs for number three. Um, we slow him down, we'll have a shot. Right. I was going to say, so who are some of their major players? What are their strengths? And again, I'm not too they run, familiar. They run the football very well. They stop the run very well. They have good spot special teams. Um, it's good. I mean, they're built similar to us. It's going to be a good game. Right. Awesome. Um, moving around a little bit. Um, you know, we're two weeks in. You know, I'm not going to go talk about playoffs yet, but they're – some surprises. Uh, just when you thought it's safe to go back in the water, you have Paulsboro 2-0. and uh, I saw them Saturday against Audubon. Well, I won't say they're great. They look good. I was impressed. Uh, there's some holes in their armor. No, don't get me wrong. I liked what I saw with them. Uh, any Anything over the weekend that you found surprising with any other team? No, I mean, I mean, I've been focused on Woodstown. I mean, Woodstown beating Delsey, like you said. I mean, Delsey with the tradition over the last 60 years and stuff like that. I mean, I kept my eyes there. We've been focused on Woodstown, Joe. I mean, you know me. I'm on one, one week at a time guy. <laughs> so, um, any other games this weekend coming up to have your attention? I know I know, you, you got to be focused on Woodstown, but you can't. You, you got to be at least a little bit of it. Has to be yeah, I mean, the only other game that I'll pick my eye at is I always root for my guys in Mainland, and they got a big matchup at Millville. 
Right. Of course, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're going to, everybody's going to have their eyes on that game. Yeah. Uh, I think Shawnee Camden is another big one. That's big too. I yeah, Sha- Shawnee looks uh, to be pretty solid so far. Haven't been tested yet. This is going to test them. It's going to be a huge measuring stick. And uh, as far as the mainland Millville game goes, there's so much there. You know, Millville wants revenge. This is like uh, Tyson Holyfield too. You know what I mean? Everybody's going to be. Three, three. Go back to the state semifinals two years ago. Yes, last yeah, year's yeah, playoff. Right. Now this one. Yeah, well, they each won one, and I'm sure they're going to play each other in the uh, years to come. They're trying to look into uh, Group 5. You have Bridgeton 2-0, and another one of your neighbors. What do you think? Uh, I know Dominic Williams pretty well. He's the, he's doing a great job down there, alum. And, he's I mean, again, he's he's a, he's a kid from Bridgeton, and he's played, in, he's played in the league and things like that, and he's really trying to transform those kids' lives. He's doing a good job. Yeah, it seems like that. Because I've heard – I've never met Coach Wilkins, but I've heard some really good things about him. And uh, they have struggled in the recent years. And for them to be 2-0, and but a good chance of 3-0. They play Ake Harbor Township, who's also 2-0. Uh, that's a big deal because I know their numbers were really low. They have big numbers at school, not big football numbers. And, uh, you, you know, for them to have to fight that, and this will help get kids out too. You know, in a group one school, anything to get kids out is going to help. Yeah, absolutely. No, I know Dom personally. He, he's doing a great job down there. I, I've heard, I've heard, never, I never met him personally. Uh, anything else going on around South Jersey that has your attention? No, I just can't wait to Friday night. I mean, got to get the week and got, we got two more days of practice and let's get to Friday night. All right. Awesome. Well, I guess that's it for tonight. I will uh, catch you. Now, who, do you who do you guys have next week coming in? Uh, we're home against Pens, uh, Pensgrove. Pensgrove. Okay. They're, uh, were they one and one right now? Um, you would know better than me. I would have to look next when I when we start getting ready to play them. All right, and we're not going to jump ahead. We're going to you know okay. stick with stick with uh, Woodstown. I want to wish you the best of luck Friday night, Mike. I think this is this has the potential to be a phenomenal game. Like you said, you have that rivalry, which you know that you you've seen this. The neighborhood rivalries uh, have died a little bit in high school football, but the this WJFL. Alive, Joe. So let's bring it back. What's that? So I said, well, I hope to bring it back, have a good game Friday night, and yeah. let's get this thing started again. Well, I – yeah, and what I like about that, I always mark out for these um, neighborhood games. Like, I remember, you know, I attended a Hamilton versus Mainland Friday night. They had great battles like 30, 35 years ago, and I always enjoy those rivalry games of teams that are close to each other. And like right. I said, with the new division realignment, we've lost a lot of that. So anytime you get a chance to see something like that, it, it's a treat. You've got to run this by before I go. Middle Township, Lower Cape May, <laughs> right in your backyard, your home yes. backyard. You got to give me a take on this one here. The man can well, be I'm glad they're playing again. As an alumni of Lower, I'm, I'm glad they're playing again. Um, I mean, I was, a, I was a freshman when Lower played middle for the first time at Thanksgiving 20-some-odd years ago. Um, so they, they took a year off last year for whatever reason. So I'm glad that they're playing again. It's a rivalry. I mean, it ranks up there. The kids know each other. Families know each other. People now live in middle who went to Lower and vice versa. So it's nice to see that they're playing together. But that's what I like about it too. That's why I had to spring that on you before we go. It's yeah. another rivalry that uh, the schedules just didn't work out last year. I think they were scheduled to play later in the year and didn't. I don't know, but um, yeah, I'm not sure in particulars, but I'm just glad as an alumni. Yeah, I mean, taught at middle, went to lower. It's nice to see them playing again. Yeah, no, that's awesome. That to me, that's what high school football is all about, amongst other right. things. All right, Mike, we're gonna sign off. Uh, you guys can catch this at Carollo's Corner on it's allaboutscores.com. Uh, Mike, thank you again. Good luck Friday night. Go Cougars. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon. No problem, Mike. Have a nice night, everyone.